35 with the top down Quit to tell a hater they should get like me Seem like everybody wanna be the boss What's up guys? Welcome back. I'm Nat. Today we are going to be watching a Bar Rescue compilation. Um, Bar Rescue's Hostile Takeovers. Hostile? Hostile. Whatever. It's been a minute since I did a Bar Rescue one, even though most of the videos on my channel are Bar Rescue, but it's been a minute since I've watched one. So we're gonna watch this one. I am very over bartending at the moment, mostly because I've decided to um, be sober at work. Be sober at work. Huh? <laughs> and it makes you realize how shitty work is <laughs> when you're not able to just take a shot and just let shit go basically like it's really hard to regulate your emotions which is which is special guest my baby but yeah so it's been a fucking it's been a ride and do you know what i'm i'm down now to two days or i'm about to be down to bartending two days a week and i'm hoping on this other opportunity that this other opportunity that i have pans out and then i don't have to bartend anymore and then that is the goal no one wants to bartend or work in customer service for the rest of your life right Anyways, if you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new here, welcome back, guys. Don't forget to like this video if you haven't already and subscribe if you're not already. And let's just get into it. The hostile takeover. We're taking control. You're not running things anymore. Nice. Close the law. They own 60% of the business. You give them their keys tonight, you walk out of here, come back tomorrow as a reasonable partner. I'm going to agree time, John. Deep. His house is on the line. This isn't about your good time. This is bull****. This is the story of this barn. Two guys, Rob and Steve, buy this barn, open it 10 months ago. After they open it, a third partner, Scott, buys in for $25,000. So the two original partners, Rob and Steve, have 37.5% each, and Scott has 25%. Rob's supposed to run the business, Steve is supposed to help him run the business, and Scott is supposed to be a... Silent partner. So, there's Rob. Like, am I drunk? Am I seeing three? Or is it really three? Drinking a cocktail at the front door of his bar, and there's Steve. And they're the original owners. There's Scott. I think this place can be so nice. somebody that's innovative. So he now finds himself as a minority partner, sort of powerless yeah. in a sinking ship. Also, Rob lives upstairs. So, for recon tonight, I found a group of girls to pose as real patrons. That's Jessica and her five friends. They live on the lake. They're in their boat. They fit our target demo. Yeah. They're out together for a social evening, but Jessica only has five dollars. <laughs> her job is to find out how many drinks she can get for her five dollars. She's gonna get a lot of drinks for those five dollars. <laughs> if though, if the if the, <laughs> if there's men working, she's gonna get a lot of drinks for those with that five dollars. I'm betting she's not even gonna break a five dollar bill. Can you and me? Yes. Looking for my yeah, I'm looking around. My best friend's birthday is tonight. And we're all out to celebrate. Where is she? Right here. Birthday shot. Birthday shot. Who is that? Which one of you girls are paying for? She has him hooked, but. He's not paying for shots. Blah, 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 blah. I don't give a what she said. Give all the pretty girls free. There it is. That's so funny because when you have an owner or a manager who's like so crazy and you're trying to be the responsible one, like that girl is like, fuck you. You're giving, obviously you're like, these bitches are trying to fucking pull one over on him, obviously. But it's like, she's trying to be the responsible one and being like, no, you're not buying them shots. And what can you do when it's your manager or your owner telling you, no, this is how it's gonna go. What the fuck can you do at that point? For me, I'd say you serve them then. You serve them, you pour it, I'm not supporting this. Like that's, but it's hard, it's so hard. Cause it's like, it's just stupid. Start it's doing it. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shots. So 
I get the whole birthday shot thing too because I'll be like if someone most of the time uh, if someone mentions it's their birthday I'm just like oh cool happy birthday do you want to start a tab or close it out um, but there are people who are like especially if they've been dry, buying drinks or whatever and it's a birthday party and they're like okay we're gonna get eight shots or whatever and I know that they're for a birthday I'll say okay what's the birthday person drinking whatever and I'll be like okay well I got that one shot and then they pay for the, the other seven or whatever you know like there's stuff I'll do that I'm never gonna give out eight shots for free you will never fucking see me do that I know bitches that will though but you won't you won't see me doing that what a douche <laughs> Uh, it's just There's this other partner sitting up against the wall right there. Watching it all. Watching it all. Look at him just standing there. Did you see your face? Watching it all. Look at him just standing there. Get out! 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 Get Pissed. I would be pissed too. I would be really fucking pissed. He's consuming more alcohol than anyone in the hotel. Let me help. 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 Let what is he doing? What is he fucking doing? Bro, you're embarrassing yourself. Uh, I don't know how many times I've, I have to say this, but like being drunk is not fucking cute. Like it's not cute. Granted, if you, <laughs> who am I? Who <laughs> fucking am I? Uh, if you've ever watched the other channel that we had of Barbie S from before, you know, got drunk a lot, but <laughs> I, it's just when you're, when you're sloppy and you're belligerent and you're whatever, you're not fucking cute. Like you're not cute. It's so embarrassing and it's so crazy that like people don't have this internal thing. Maybe just because I'm like an overthinker and I have like mad anxiety and mad social anxiety. Even when I'm drunk, I'm like, I'm being too much. I need to shut up and whatever you know like but there's so many people that don't there's so many people that clearly clearly doesn't know always <sighs> oh, is at a point of unreasonable behavior he's binge drinking he's obnoxious and he doesn't give a shit. so if he doesn't give a shit, i'm sending my experts in just to tell him i'm not talking and imagine how bad it is on camera or uh without the cameras imagine if this guy does not give a fuck that the cameras are there right now imagine how bad it is on a normal like these girls obviously to stick up for themselves and stick up for like him not drinking and like don't do this they've dealt with this so many times so this is probably just another fucking day because if you if this is like the first time your manager is doing something you're probably not gonna like confront them or tell them no but it's like if this is the shit that you deal with all the time you're like get the fuck down i'm not doing it get the fuck out of my face you know like you'll talk to them like that because you're just used to it which is such an abusive work environment hey, Rob. Hey, Rob. Hey, Rob. Hey, Rob. Hey, my name's Nick Liberato. This is the Starwell Feria. We work with John Tapper. And we just watch the Look at the girl. Just to let you know we're out of here, buddy. Have a good night. Look at the girl. I'm sorry for any problems. Hey, we should never sh We never should have done this. Ever. Scott, you you know what? F you. For what? The sh show? For everything. Give a f Oh, I care. I want it to work. Go away, Scott! All you wanted was the building fixed. We need Scott. to be fixed. Scott! You want to see what's really going to happen? I'm going to throw you through the f***ing door. I'm going to f***ing beat the f*** out of you. Why are you at the top of my stairs? I live here, not you. You shouldn't be living here. You paying rent? Yeah! Yeah, I pay rent! Back up with the cameras. Let me get them out of there. Last night? That's the first time we've ever seen how many camera crews there are or how many people. Do you see how many fucking people that was? That was a lot of people. So don't give me this bullshit of like, no, no secret cameras. There are secret cameras, but they also have a whole fucking camera crew in there. You people are, are still acting like this. It's a Crazy. conscious choice that you <coughs> to assault your opponent. Yeah. You're done. And you want me to help you. You're done, bitch. You're his friend. Yeah. You care about him. I do. 
Did you like the person you saw last night? No. Tell him. Rob, you were out of control last night. It was, it was, it was bad. You've been open how many months? About 10 months. You're losing how much a month? Upwards of $4,000. $4,000 a month you're losing. So, whose job was it to run the bar? Rob, Rob's. So, you were investing in Rob's ability to run it? Absolutely. The same here. So now the three you were part of. Do you understand what fiduciary responsibility means? I don't know. When somebody Apparently. takes money from an investor, you have a fiduciary responsibility to act appropriately and responsibly with that money. You can't give everything away and say you to the investor. You can't drink everything and say you to the investor. You can't act like you do. There's a fiduciary responsibility when you take a man's money. America! Here's the deal. Martha. You have 37.5% of this business. You have 37.5% of this business. You have 25% of this business. Who controls this business? Scott and I. You do, don't you? Yes. Yes, we do. I'm going to fight for this place if you guys take control of it. Okay. You prepared to do that? Yes. So are you saying then if the two of you as majority shareholders of this business, that you are alleviating management of their responsibilities, and you are now going to take over this bar? Correct. Yes. Steve and Scott can't run this business. They're never here, and they don't know. They don't have the answers to this. You can't come here five times in ten months and think you're going to run a bar. You have to be... Bro, take the L. Because he... You don't know how to run the bar. So don't... Watch it. Here every day, hour and hour. You should let you do it. Yeah. Because you did it so well last night. Now you're the silent partner. Welcome to the world of business. Here's Michelle. Brendan. Period, John. Fucking period. That shit is so crazy. So crazy. Uh oh. Oh, baby. What's going on? Sorry. It's really nice when my boyfriend's being the needy one and i'm not <laughs> because i'm the needy one all the fucking time and when he goes why didn't you take me back i'm like <laughs> i'm sorry i'm right here oh man who am i <laughs> i don't know anyways let's keep going she's the owner so there's kevin and brendan that's michelle's husband there's diana she's our kitchen manager and she works with her son, Joey, the cook. There's Elise. She's the assistant manager. How we doing, guys? All right? Um, I hear you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I hear you. No one respects her. You must be a disaster. Well, let me tell you what I did tonight, guys. I got 200 people going to walk through that door any minute. We'll see what happens in the kitchen. We'll get to see the bartenders behind the bar. She's already the kitchen manager. She's already losing her fucking shit over fucking nothing. And now 200 people are gonna walk in? Bitch. And we'll get to hear some comments between customers. Absolutely. It's still coming in. <laughs> So they've been open a half hour now, and I don't think half the room has drinks. What is that? I, was, I had two tickets I was looking at, and I grabbed two different things. This is all up. I made exactly what I was supposed to. Please. Now looking at the slips once again. They're blowing it. I know you're definitely waiting on your drinks. I'm so sorry. Wish I hadn't done it. I'm making that many money. I don't know where it is. I'll grab it. I wonder what happened is. So as the business is sinking, he's sitting down there. That's no good. This looks disgusting. It's interesting. These guys have got a world famous uh, clam chowder and lobster roll place next door. I can't understand why they would try and even compete with it. It's embarrassing. Yeah. Guys, right, so can I get ticket times right now, please? What is this? Like, like a joke? I'm tired. We're all feeling a little frustrated. We've been waiting for an hour for drinks. We're not patient right now. Even when they have the opportunity, they're not seizing it. I'm just practicing my, my deep breathing right now. I got one owner, Kevin, standing work? there talking to his friend while his wife is sinking behind the bar. You know, we've seen enough, buddy. Yeah. Okay, let's go inside. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, we'll see you later. Michelle, Joe, 
Scott. Hey. You know I sent these people in here, right? I had an idea. How far in debt are you? Over two hundred thousand dollars. Over two hundred thousand dollars. Is there any way you're gonna make this money back when you can't serve people in forty minutes? Where's Kevin? Has he been helping you? Kevin! Good job. I'm watching you standing here talking to your friend in a white sweatshirt as you're sinking. Do you want to kiss your money goodbye or do you want to fight for it? Of course not. I don't want to fight for it. Is this the way you fight for it? No. Do you spend a lot of time here, Kevin? Do you get to look at these kinds of things? I don't know. How come? Uh, children. Take care of the, the house. She runs the business. Well, that's not entirely the way it is. He lost total interest in it. So there were nights when he'd be home with his buddies just drinking while I was working. When he was here, he'd drink and then he'd walk around introducing himself as the owner. And that just kind of feels a little bit like a slap in my face. I put all my time into this and all my money. So there's some resentment here. Yeah? Yeah. Please. Yeah? I mean, I, I've known that all along. I just, this was my dream. Do you like it when he's here? No. When you're here, I'm just, I'm stressed. I'm not myself. You know, I love you. I want this to work. But I, I just can't work with you. It started off as your dream, but it's my dream now, and it's, I, I'd like you to let me do it. What do you want him to do? Back the fuck up, bitch. I want him to be a silent partner. You're you okay with this? No. That's the worst. Guys, I don't want you to lose your marriage over this. The last five years of my first marriage, we started working together. And I wound up getting divorced over it. And I'm guessing that's a road you don't want to go anywhere near. For us to be successful, I have to stay home. That's what I'll do. I'll support you in any way I can. Thank you. Let me give you a few minutes to talk, and then we'll get together and we'll go to work on training, okay? I can let go. I just wish it didn't have to be that way. Oh, someone else could probably talk about anything in... Ever? Yeah. I'll miss this place, but that's what I have to do. <laughs> Marley is, is my dream, but not at the expense of my family. At least he fucking took a step back i feel like there's a lot of dudes who would be like way too prideful or whatever and like at least he was like you know what if that's what it takes for us to one not lose my marriage but two lose the business and go down that road financially like uh kudos to him for fucking doing that because it takes i feel like it takes a lot also too to realize that like yeah this was your dream but you didn't put in the amount of work so now for it to work out you have to fucking <laughs> say bye like he knew he wasn't he wasn't doing it and i don't know good for him good for her for standing up for herself because it takes a lot to be able to stand up for yourself i think um so good good for both of them to be honest and there's jerry he's the one partying when you have food we order food I don't give a we don't have food. did you sell food before oh yeah. yeah jerry took it upon himself to sell all the kitchen equipment wow 60% owners of the business, don't you think you deserve the right to make that decision? Absolutely, Whoa. we should have been involved in that. How much money did you and your brother put in when you opened it? 160000 Amongst all of you? Mm -hmm. Initially, the three of us made a deal with the banks where they put up 100% of the money, but we had to put up our houses. Oh, so now you put up cash, you put up collateral. Right. So you went in for 40%? Yeah, your brother right. went in for 40%? And you went in for 20%? Yeah, 20%. Who primarily runs the bar? My brother, Jerry, runs the bar. It's all about him. I got balls. <laughs> Are your balls that big? Hell no, they're bigger. <laughs> I'm not really good at that, but you know, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's the loudest person in the room by far. He is. Her ass is in the way. Hey, can you get can you get that turd cutter out of my way? Can you possibly succeed with him being this way? Not the way it is now, no. Running the bar drunk is dead wrong. Holy oh, that was great. When you guys sit here and tell me that, you know, he this and he that, but you both together have the authority to stop that tomorrow. You can take control of the bank accounts tomorrow. That's what 60% of a business is. Good point. So the fact of the matter is, 
you're not in a submissive position to him. Sure. So he needs to see your anger. You pissed? Yes. Uh, How many times have you been pissed the last few months and held it back? Probably 50% of the time. Tonight you don't. Yeah. Tonight you let it go. How many times have you been pissed and held it back? Anytime I've seen him drinking in the bar. I've never liked it. No! Come on! Inside, we talk to him, and we look at him and say, We own 60% of this business. I want the keys. Hostile takeover? Let's do it. A hostile takeover is when the majority owners of a company take the business away from the manager. Dave and Steve own 60% of this company. They're going to walk in and they're going to relieve Jerry of his manager. It was almost right in their fun bags. Damn. The number one responsibility of a bar manager is to keep your customers safe. You can't do that when you're drunk. Yeah. All right, come on. Hi, Miles. Can we come talk to us for a minute? What's going on? Come on over here. Stand right there. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? I've been better. You're a drunken fool. Can I sit down? Money. No, don't sit down. Stand up. It's good for you. Right. If you can stand, can you stand? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. It's not funny. It's you're an embarrassment to uh, Dave, you're an embarrassment to me, you're an embarrassment to the bar. You're making a fool of yourself. And you're disrespectful to your partners whose houses are on the line. We've talked about this many times. Are you not drinking in the bar, not yelling across the bar? Oh, we're having a great time. This is not about a great time. This is about making money. Come on now. It's like, man, it's like we're, we're having a great time. Everybody's in here. We're having a great time. That's what we thought we were going to have when we bought this place. I haven't been having a great time. I've been sitting out in that vehicle watching you make an ass out of yourself. That is not fun to me. This is a hostile takeover. We're taking control. You're not running things anymore. Oh. Here's the law. They own 60% of the business. You give them their keys tonight, you walk out of here, come back tomorrow as a reasonable partner. Steve had it in him, but they did. They had the courage, they went in, and they completed a hostile takeover. It's bull No, it's the way it is. No, it's bull Where the have you guys been? I've been here busting my Drinking and busting your Keys. Ay, yay, yay, yay. What the fuck, dude? That's crazy. I feel like lesson is don't own a bar if you can't be fucking responsible. Don't own anything if you can't be fucking responsible. If you can't take care of yourself, how are you gonna expect to take care of anything or anybody else? And with that, I will see you guys on the next one. I 35 with a top down, could you tell a hater they should get like me? Seem like everybody wanna be the boss, but it costs any lane.